All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to Boulder Base. And in this video, we are going to show you how to create troops, how to prepare them for battle, and then we're going to go on our first battle. And in that battle, I do believe we will be able to obtain the blueprints to a cannon. So before we go into that battle, as you can see in the top middle of the screen, we have our troops there. We have four of eight troops. If we click on that, that does go into our troop factory where it actually is in our preparation stage. Now, as you can see, I do have two robots and two Scorp Spiders. I don't have anything else. I don't have any artillery, don't have any heal bots. But what I want to do is actually create two more robots and two more Scorp Spiders. You can see that there is a unit size. Each troop here has a unit size, like the tank has a unit size of three. So our preparation capacity, if, if I was to create a tank, would go up to seven of eight because we would have two robots, two Scorp Spiders, and one tank. And then as you can see down below, each one has a unit size. So you have to keep that in mind when you're developing your troops for battle. You don't want, you can't go over the preparation capacity that you can see in the top of the screen right there. So now let's go ahead and go to our factory. We're going to produce two more robots and two more Scorp Spiders. And it doesn't take very much time for them to produce. They are queued up. And so now if we go back to our preparation, you can see that our preparation capacity is still at four of eight, but that's because we haven't added any additional robots or Scorp Spiders to our army. So let's go ahead and add those right now. We're going to hit the add button twice for the robot. You can see, you see where the available went from two to zero. Same thing with our spider available from two to zero. And now we have four robots ready, four Scorp Spiders ready. You can see at the top middle of the portion where our troop size is eight of eight let's go ahead and jump into our first battle and you're going to do that by going into the map look at that now it's time for kicking other players bottoms let's go you can see we are ranked number 10 whenever we conquer another player's base we will own his colony who would not want their own colony right absolutely colonies bring us wealth all the information about your colonies is here. There we go. And there's there's our colonies. We don't have much. Because <laughs> we're new. <laughs> and now enough talk. Let's finally give someone a good spanking. And we're going to go ahead and follow this right over here on the bottom left. We're going to find a new enemy. Now this is a multiplayer game. So we are getting ready to find and hopefully hopefully destroy another active player. Let's go ahead and scout this player out real quick. All right. They they've got they've got a they got a they've got a little bit of a base here. This is a small base. They've got one cannon. It looks like it's upgraded. You know what? I think we can take him out. Let's go ahead and attack. We have our troops here at the top right. We got four robots four scorp spiders let's go ahead and send the robots the scorp spiders are faster than the robots on land so we're going to send the robots first then we'll send our scorp spiders after the scorp spiders should keep, uh, catch up to those robots we're going to go and destroy that, that 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 sniper tower and then take over their base and again this is a multiplayer game we are attacking another person at the at this point in time and it doesn't even look like they're tower is even shooting at us wow we just destroyed them so now our robots are going to overtake that base and this will be our new territory enemy sandway we just destroyed sandway Yep, victory. No casualties. Great. We earned some some coinage. We earned some minerals, some resources. Got some really cool stuff there. And now that we've taken over this base, what you want to do is set up your defense. So let's go ahead and add our sniper tower here. You can click on it. You can move it anywhere you want. Let's go ahead and just move it right over here. And that's perfect. Now it's cool that we've just taken over that one colony, the Sandway colony. We can actually, we're starting to accrue some more resources and coins. So you can see there, we, do, we don't have any resources and coins yet in the bank, but when we do, we can call that transport and it'll bring those resources over to us at our home base. And as you can see here, we have coins per hour is 26, titanium per hour, 
13. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to attack and take over the base just to the right of our home base. When we attack and take over this, blade, this base, it's going to provide us a blueprint to build the sniper and discover our first hero, Miss Hit Hero. So I hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials. Hopefully they're helping. And if they are, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and join the tethered. As always, thanks for watching. Love you all, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye.